This is my sixth year to come to Kentucky, but I've always come as a camera guy. And uh, Wade said, would you like to go as a hunter instead of a camera guy? And I said, <laughs> Of course, why, why wouldn't I want to? So, so that's the deal. I get to come to Kentucky and I get to go deer hunting. To say I'm nervous is probably an understatement. Um, prep wise, lots of shooting in the backyard. If the gear's on, if something goes wrong, it's on me. And I wanna know the gear's gonna work and the gear's on. So if something goes wrong, I've got nobody to blame but myself. So what makes this hunt a little more pressing, it is open and weekend here in Kentucky, but we only have three hunts committed to another shoot here at the end of the week. So if something's gonna happen for me, it's gonna have to happen pretty quick. Regardless, I get to go sit in a deer stand. So one of the stands that Wade put cameras out at, um, it had some deer coming to it. There were, there were three bucks coming to it for sure. They were all buddies hanging out together and one of the three was a, there was a shooter. Wade said, you know, if that deer comes in, he's one you ought to look at taking. Well, I mean, if Wade says it's a good deer and I look at it, it looks like a good deer, it's a good deer. And if he comes in, that's gonna be my shot. In my past experience in Kentucky, we've actually had a range of conditions. Some years have been extremely hot. Some years have been extremely wet. This year, it is hot, it is dry, and it's got a full moon. So to say the odds are stacked against us, I think they are a little bit, simply because the deer are not gonna move till later because it's so hot. Uh, they'll move all night because we have a full moon. You know, we gotta get lucky. We gotta have a deer that comes out in the daylight and, uh, you know, can give us a decent shot. It's a pretty close shot. I'm sitting there daydreaming for, for a couple hours. Um, don't see much moving at all. Really wasn't expecting to see anything for a while. And then Michael just say, hey, we got deer. And I look up and see where his camera's pointed. And I couldn't see him initially. I was blocked by a tree, but then I saw him and. It was the three bucks, the three buddies that Wade was talking about, and one of them was the shooter.
<clears throat> Hit him back. Hit him back. Sorry, dear. It's not going anywhere, but I don't want him to suffer. Yeah. Now I can wait and get him around. I'm so dang nervous, I don't know what to do. Right there. I know it. That's where it should have gone the first time. I'm sorry, dear. I get so dang nervous. And I thought I had it under control. And when I let go, I was right where my third arrow went. And I pulled it. I hit him high. Then I totally whiffed on the second one, trying to put him out of his misery. Third one, I finally composed myself a little bit and got him. I, I, I'm at a loss for Every time I'm like, now I gotta practice more. I gotta practice more. And today I was drilling them. This is, this is a lesson to everybody. When you, when you practice, you need to practice sitting in non-conventional ways. I got one foot down and one foot up. When I pulled back, I thought I was on them and I pulled it. <sighs> People hit them high all the time. I don't want them to suffer. I hit him in the spine. He couldn't go anywhere, but I wanted to get another one in him to to end that. So I'm sorry, dear, but it's, you know, that's the ethical thing to do is you want to try to end it as quick as possible. When you mess up a shot, and I, I messed up the shot, and I'm telling you, I am the poster child for buck fever. I thought I was settled, everything looked good, and when I let go, obviously, it was high. <laughs> Let's go look at him. Let's do it. Well, here he is. Thank you, buddy. I, you know, what can I say? Um, archery is a whole different world, different world for me. Um, you know, I get to follow guys shooting archery all the time with a camera, and I've shot several things with my bow, but every time I come away going, I got to work harder, I got to do better. Um, it is sure great to see this guy on the ground. I wish my shot would have been a little lower, but, you know, we, we finished him off, we got him right here, and, and that's what matters. He's going to look great on the wall. It's going to be great in the freezer. It's my Kentucky buck. I don't know what else to say. I mean, a velvet buck for me, I never thought I'd do it. And here we are.